Today I am going to talk about the top 20 most popular programming language and this popularity index was created by TOIBE index which is a company which specializes in finding out which programming languages are the most popular programming language. So what I am going to do there are hundreds of programming language but today I am going to talk about the top 20 programming languages starting from the least popular to the most popular programming language. Tell me which programming language are you currently working on and which company do you belong to in the comments. I read all the comments and I will be interested to know what programming language you are using. You will be very surprised by various programming languages on this list. Hey one more thing, it will be great if you can like this video and subscribe to my channel because that will help a lot of more people to watch this video and to learn from this whatever they can. What I have done is I have created a PowerPoint presentation. So what I'll do is I'll switch to this PowerPoint presentation and we'll go through each programming language and we'll see a little bit of details about based on whatever I have uh, researched so far. I have put one check mark for all programming language where I have at least written one program on that particular programming language. I put two check marks against those programming language which was the main programming language that I was using for the last 23 years in the software industry and I have put a cross for the programming languages which I have never used or I am not I don't know how that works. So let us start with the least popular programming language at number 20 is Objective C. And Objective C was developed by Tom Love and Brad Cox in the 1980s. It is a general purpose object oriented programming language that adds small talk like messaging to the C programming language. Okay. Objective C was the main programming language supported by Apple for Macintosh OS, iOS and their API Coca and Coca Touch until 2014. In 2014 this was replaced by Swift programming language. At number 19 is Scratch. So Scratch is developed by MIT Media Labs in the year 2002 and uh, Scratch is a block based visual programming language and the website is targeted towards teaching children how to start programming. If you see uh, Scratch is mostly used to create online projects in schools, colleges or universities for people who want to start learning programming. You know I had a CEO who told me that Amit if you want to uh, start your children's in programming then Scratch is the best programming language to start someone at a very early age. At number 18 is Perl. So Perl was developed by Larry Wall in the year 1987 and Perl is general purpose Unix scripting language to make report processing easier. It, Perl is used for system administration, network programming, finance, uh, bioinformatics and other applications where reporting is a big requirement and processing huge amount of data is a big requirement. And this is my favorite at number 17 classic visual basic so classic visual basic or vb was developed by microsoft in 1991 vb is a third generation event driven programming language based on microsoft's component object model of programming vb is used in rapid application development it is very easy to build any kind of a graphical user interface application on any of the windows platform like uh, windows operating system or the windows server I was using Visual Basic from the year 1997 to the year 2002 to build various uh, software application on the Windows desktop or on the Windows server operating system. At number 16 is PLSQL. Now PLSQL was developed by Oracle in the year 1995 as an extension of SQL. It is a procedural language where you can define variables, you can write conditional loops and you can process any kind of data which is available in the database. PLSQL is used to uh, create programming units like procedure or function which can process a data or can be used for automation. This is mostly uh, used in any kind of a RDBMS database. At number 15 is Ruby. So Ruby was developed by Yukihiro Matsumoto in Japan in the year 
1990s. Ruby is an interpreted high-level general-purpose programming language. It was influenced by Perl, Smalltalk, Eiffel, ADA, BASIC and LISP. Ruby is mostly used for building web application. It has uses in data analysis, prototyping and proof of concept. Ruby on Rails is a popular web development framework. So you can build a lot of web application using Ruby on Rails. At number 14 is assembly language and this was the first programming language on which I had written a program in the college. In the third year of engineering, we had a subject called 8086 programming. In that we had to write program using assembly language 8086. So assembly language is the oldest programming language on the list developed by Kathleen booth in 1947. Assembly language or ASM as it is called is a low level programming language which is based on machine level instructions. Each assembly language is specific to particular computer architecture. It is used to program micro architecture that power various parts of any computer subsystem. At number 13 is MATLAB. Now MATLAB is developed by Clive Moller in 1970s at the University of Mexico. MATLAB is a multi-paradigm numerical computing environment and proprietary programming language that allows matrix manipulation, uh, plotting of functions and data implementation of algorithms. MATLAB is used within control engineering and data science project by people from various backgrounds like engineering or science or economics. It is finding a lot of use in data science in today's date. At number 12 is Go, also known as Golang. Go is developed by Robert Grishemer and Robert Pike and Ken Thompson at Google in 2007. Go is statically typed compiled programming language that is similar to C but useful in high performance uh, networking and multiprocessing. Go is also known as Golang and is used as Google's self-hosting compiler tool chain targeting multiple operating systems, uh, mobile devices and web assembly. It is also used in GNU compiler collection for front-end programming. At number 11 is Swift. As I mentioned in the beginning, Swift replaced Objective-C inside Apple. Swift was developed initially by Chris uh, Latner since 2010 at Apple Inc. Later various programmers joined in this initiative. Swift is a general purpose multi-paradigm compiled programming language designed to work with Apple's Coca and Coca Touch uh, framework along with Objective-C. Because a lot of code was written in Objective-C, uh, even today Objective-C code can be compiled in the uh, using Swift. Uh, Swift is used for developing applications in iOS, iPad OS, Mac OS, Watch OS, TV OS, Linux, Z OS. In short, you can build any application for Apple products using the Swift programming language. At number 10 is R. R is developed by Ross Hika and Robert Genderman at University of Auckland released in 1995. R is a statistical programming language that follows S programming language. It implements various statistical and graphical techniques which include linear, non-linear modeling, statistical test, time series analysis, classification and clustering. R is used extensively in analytical applications for big data and data science projects. At number 9, my favorite is SQL. Now I have built a lot of databases in 1997 on the SQL platform using Microsoft SQL. SQL was developed by Donald Chamberlain and Raymond Boyce at IBM on the basis of relational models paper published by Ted Cord. SQL or Structured Query Language also known as SQL is domain specific language used in designing, programming and maintaining data held in relational database management. SQL is used in various database applications like MS SQL, Oracle and DB2. At number 8 is PHP. Now PHP is one of the most popular web programming language because it is also used by Facebook, it is also used by Wikipedia, it is used by Quora, various companies are using this programming language to build all kind of web based platform. So PHP was developed by Rasmus Ledoff in 
1994 php stands for personal home page php is a popular general purpose scripting language suited for web development uh, it's used in combination with html and css to build advanced web application where you want to interact with data and it is used to write all kind of server side code at number 7 is javascript javascript was developed by founders of netscape in 1993 and it became a de facto standard for all web browsers javascript is a high level just in time compiled multi paradigm programming language it is used alongside with html and css as core technologies of world wide web Uh, javascript enables interactive web pages and is an essential part of web application nowadays javascript is also used on the server side uh, using something called as uh, node js and uh, express js at number 6 is visual basic and here we are talking about visual basic .net visual basic .net replaced the classic visual basic sometime in 2002 Visual Basic is developed by Microsoft as a part of their .NET initiative and it is a successor to classic Visual Basic and it is used for all uh, Visual Basic projects since the year 2002 in my company we migrated all our code from classic Visual Basic to Visual Basic .NET so Visual Basic is a multi paradigm object oriented programming language within the .NET framework and it just like visual basic it also provides a rapid application development framework where it can speed up your project development and reduce the time that is required for development it is used for uh, building various business applications uh, on the windows operating system or the windows server architecture as well as on the uh, iis which is for web application development at number 5 is c sharp again the code set of visual basic .net and c sharp is very similar you can replace the entire code of visual basic with a c sharp code c sharp was developed by andres helsberg around the year 2000 at microsoft as a part of their .net initiative so c sharp is a general purpose procedural programming language and it provides constructs that map efficiently to machine instruction previously coded in assembly language so it is used to build operating system application software for computers supercomputers and embedded systems at number 4 is c++ and you will be surprised that c++ is still one of the most popular programming languages now c++ was developed by uh, john strostup since 1979 in the bell labs C++ is a high level general purpose object oriented programming language it provides a clear structure to programs and allow code to be reused lowering the development cost it is used for building operating system graphical user interfaces modeling softwares games and embedding systems at number 3 is python programming language python programming language is one of the most uh, popular programming languages in today's date because uh, you can do data science project using python you can write machine learning code artificial intelligence code uh, iot code all this using python and that is why python has become one of the most popular programming languages in the world today now this language is not new it was a very old uh, programming language python was developed by guido von rossum and released in 1991 Python is an interpreted high level general purpose programming language and this programming language helps programmer write clear logical code for any kind of projects so it is used for web development on the server side um, and the best use of python is in data science project for its mathematical and scripting abilities at number 2 is java programming language and you can see the difference between visual basic c sharp and java who's got more popularity because this is a very important question that everybody ask which programming language should i focus on should i focus on um, .net or should i focus on java or python and you can see the difference of popularity and java was developed by james gosling in the and released in year 1995 at sun microsystem uh, which is now a part of oracle 
Uh, Java is a general purpose object oriented programming language. Java applications run on a Java virtual machine regardless of the underlying computer architecture. Now Java applications run on everything from laptops to data centers to game consoles uh, and supercomputers. So Java became a very popular programming language. A lot of devices use Java as their language of choice. And finally at number one is the grand old programming language C and you will be surprised by this but in today's date C is the most popular programming language of choice. C was developed by Dennis Ritchie between 1972 and 1973 at Bell Labs. C is a general purpose procedural programming language. It provides constructs that map effectively to the machine instruction previously coded in assembly language. So what happened is C became a choice wherever we were using assembly language instead of using assembly language C is the language of choice so if you see a lot of device based programming is done in C even today the use of C is to build operating system application software for computers supercomputers uh, programming logic interfaces and embedded system you will see that C uh, rules the roost among all the programming language and C has been at the number one rank for many years in the last uh, two or three decades. And if you are a software engineer who is stuck in some low paying job in software, then here is a video in which I discuss the 22 streams of highest paying software development jobs in the software industry. It will be great if you can like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for subscribing. Stay focused, stay rich.